Yeah, SAP profiles and parameters. So what are the uh, different uh, profiles in SAP? Uh, and uh, what is a parameter? What are the different types of parameter? How to modify the parameter? Let us discuss in this session. So profile is basically one which contains multiple parameters. Profile is one which contains multiple parameters. So there are three types of profiles are there. One is default profile and uh, another one is instance profile and another one is start profile. So default profile is the one which uh, uh, defines uh, or which contains a common parameter, common parameter such as uh, SAP, SID, database ID, database host name, message server host name, etc. Naming convention of the default profile is default dot EFL. EFL. Next, start profile. Start profile is the one which defines SAP services which are required to start a system. Which are required to start a system. Start profile is an instance specific. Instance specific. It means that if five app servers are there, uh, then five start profiles will be there in the system. However, uh, default profile is a it is not an instance specific. It means that in the, for entire system, there will be a one default profile will be there. Start profile is depends upon the, uh, the instances. If your system contains uh, three instances, then there will be a three start profiles will be there. And the name, how to identify the start profile. So the start profile can be identified with a start underscore instance uh, name and along with the number underscore host name. Okay. Next, what is the instance profile? So instance profile is the one uh, which contains the instance specific parameter, which defines in instance specific parameter, such as uh, memory related parameter, work process related parameters, etc. So uh, it depends in one of the instance, uh, more number of work process are there. Another instance, less number of purposes you may define. So it is also instance specific. So if your SAP system contains three instances, there will be a three instance profiles. Three instance profiles. So uh, the naming convention of the uh, instance profile is SID, instance name, instance number, host name. SID, instance name, instance number, host name, okay? So all these profiles, uh, 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 which are stored in the path, SAP MNT, SID, profile, or USR, SAP, SID, this profile, okay? So here, one point. From SAP NetWeaver 7.3 onwards, SAP, 7, uh, SAP NetWeaver 7.3 onwards, there will not be a start profile. It means that the start profile is specific of the parameters which are merged into the instance pro profile. So we can say that only two profiles in the SAP system after SAP NetWeaver 7.3 onwards. Before uh, uh, like NetWeaver 7.3 onwards, we, we, uh, we, we could able to see three profiles after 7.3 NetWeaver 7.3 onwards, we could able to see only two profiles. One is instance profile and another one is default profile. Okay. So we discussed what is a profile uh, and what are the types of profiles and path of the profiles. So basically what is a parameter? Parameter is a certain uh, string. It is a predefined string. So which, which contain uh, certain values to manage a SAP system. So uh, like, According to our requirement, we need to add those strings or we need to add those parameter in the respective profiles. There are two types of profile, uh, sorry, parameters. One is a static parameter and another one is a dynamic parameter. 
the name itself indicates static parameter. So if you modify or if you add a static parameter, which requires a restart of your SAP system to take an effect. Dynamic parameter is a one, like after you adding a parameter or after you modifying a parameter, which doesn't require a restart. It will take an uh, effect immediately. Okay, we could see these parameters in RZ11 uh, and also can modify dynamic parameters. In RZ10, we can add or modify the static parameters. Let us see, uh, we'll discuss uh, uh, like in these parameters. So I'll go to RZ11, say for example, here I want to check any of the parameter. So there is a parameter login slash no underscore automatic underscore user underscore SAP. This is a parameter uh, you could able to see if you go to the documentation, you will be able to see the uh, description of this parameter. What is a parameter and what is a description? This is a parameter. Uh, if the parameter value is defined as a zero, then you will be able to log in with SAP star with the default password pass. If this parameter value uh, set it as zero, then you will be able to log in with SAP star and pass password. If it is set at one, it is disabled. Okay, so, so how I could see here display. Here, this is a, okay. Now I'll go back. Now I'll take another parameter, rdisp slash wp underscore number underscore dayak. This is a parameter uh, which defines number of dialogue workers in a particular instance. Okay. So it says that minimum two is required, maximum we can handle. So in this system, uh, the 13 dialogue work process are there, okay? So it is a dynamic parameter or static parameter. It is a static parameter. If it is a dynamic parameter, uh, so you will be able to see the tick mark dynamically switchable. Since it is a static parameter, so we do not, uh, it, 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 uh, it does not contain a tick mark here, dynamically switchable, okay? So as we discussed, uh, in order to modify or in order to add a static parameter, you have to go to RZ10, okay? So we'll, we'll, we'll modify the parameter. So if you come back here uh, in RZ11, if you go to edit or go to all dynamic parameters, you could see all dynamic parameters. You can modify any the parameter uh, which is uh, uh, required whenever and you can click on save. It will take an effect immediately, but the static parameter will not be able to modify in RZ11. Let us go to RZ10. Okay, now I can select here, I can select the instance profile here, which is the SID of this instance profile EHP, and select instance profile. Then click on, uh, see here, there are three types, administrative data and basic maintenance. You will give you, uh, you will get a basic uh, details of the data. Then you will go to extended maintenance, display. If you want to change the parameter or if you want to add or modify the parameter, Click on a change. Profile maintenance is locked by basis 28. Let me go to RG basis 28 is the lock entry. Someone is modifying the parameter, I guess. Okay. Here the user is there, he's trying to modify this. We'll select this user. I delete the log entries, but in real time, you should not do this. 
you have to take the consent of the user or you have to wait for that user to complete or you have to check with the basis guy most probably the parameters modification done by basis probably so you have to talk to the basis person so now we go to extended maintenance then uh, change here so where is our password uh, what is that to login slash uh, sorry artist wp underscore number underscore diag so here 13 are there so how many work process are there close see here how many work processes are from 0 to 12 means 13 dialogue work processes are there so i want to increase this to 15 then click on 15 then click on copy okay then go back here uh, copy then again go back then okay continue So here you will be able to see number of dialogue or process become 15. Here in, in real time, again, you, you have to click on, there will be a button called again. Uh, I don't know why it is not saved. See, it is saying still it is not saved. So it has to be saved. Oh, okay. Okay. Now when you are going, uh, going back, profile was not saved. Do you want to still execute the action? No. Uh, then let me go back. Let's see, eleven. Sorry, option. Go to then then select option instance profile. Then I select extended maintenance. Change. I'll go to the Gayag. Thirteen is there. I'll make a change it 15. Click on copy. Then you come back. Click on copy. Yeah, now it is working. So again, here see, I could be able to see the save button enabled. Earlier it was uh, not enabled because of the lock entry, it seems. Then I click on save. Do you want to activate the profile? Yes. So you have to get like this profile EHP version 24 see earlier it was a 24 version now it become a 25th version see you then activate it so it will say the effect of activating a profile is simply that the profile is stored at operating system level for profile to take effect for a particular application server you have to restart the application server so post restart of this system you will be able to see the 15 uh, dialog work process in the system currently it will be remain whenever you restart the system so it will uh, it will the dialog work process will become a 15 dialog work process okay this is i explained you how to uh, modify the parameter existing parameter suppose if you want to add a parameter here only i'll be telling you how to go okay okay let me come back okay so if you want to add a parameter you have to go to rg10 here you select profile instance profile so then go to extended maintenance then change then parameter so you have to add the parameter name and with the respective value and then click on copy then again click on copy and save okay so that's it for the profiles and parameters thank you